गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हॉल इफेक्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके सो दिस इज द मैनुअल सो वी हैव द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू डिटरमाइन द हॉल कोफिशियंट एंड कैरियर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एज वेल एज वी आर गोइंग टू मेजर अबाउट मोबिलिटी ऑफ चार्ज कैरियर्स ओके ऑफ गिवेन सेमी कंडक्टिंग मेटीरियल दे विल गिव सेमी कंडक्टर मेटीरियल फॉर दैट यू आर गोइंग टू measure this all these three factors they are given the formulas here so first you go for the apparatus to determine the hall coefficient here so semiconductor sample okay i'll show you the apparatus so this is the total apparatus in the laboratory okay so here it is placed here semiconductor sample now i will take out and i'll show you here the semiconductor sample okay so we will observe here this is the semiconductor sample This is germanium, germanium sample. This is, see, this is a smaller the one. Okay, so I'll show with pencil here. So this is this is your semiconductor, very small sample we have here. Okay, now I'll come back to here. So once again, what is here? Semiconductor sample and hall setup and a hall probe. Okay, I'll show you this hall setup and hall probe. This total one is a hall setup. See, this is a hall setup. right clear so now i am observing here hall probe so i will show you this hall probe yeah this is your hall probe now i will open the cap now this is the red one is a hall probe for reference okay reference magnetic field you are going to measure by keeping this uh, in magnetic field this is the magnetic field electromagnets okay so in between i am going to place out this probe and i am going to measure in gas in gas gas meter you have see that gas meter digital gas meter in gas meter we are going to measure how much magnetic field is producing by using this probe okay where i am going to holding this probe this is the cap when i am going to close i am not going to use that i am going to close this cap okay now i'll back to here so our manual we observe here the hall probe and the electromagnets i have shown just now electromagnets and constant current power supply and a digital gas meter i have shown you the uh, this is the constant uh, power supply see here so it is written here constant uh, power supply we are applying here okay so where it is connected to the electromagnets this is all the electromagnets so these two are electromagnets okay so that me measuring inside your so digital gas meter okay next uh, you have tried this this one also hall so voltage you are going to measure by using this hall setup okay this is the hall voltage you are going to measure so everything is connected no need to connect and uh, so we will going to adjust by using this okay screws we are going to adjust the distance between the two electromagnets okay this is the holder where we have to place out this uh, semiconductor sample okay holder so if you want to this this holder is for uh, your probe we are placing here this probe we are placing here and beside you have where you have the side that side we have to place out this sample okay sample is everything is connected here now i will show for that so once again the formulas what we are going to use so this is for uh, rh okay hall coefficient me measuring this is the formula vh hall voltage thickness of the sample is given here completely okay hall coefficient hall voltage okay now current i okay thickness of the sample and uh, applied magnetic field b is applied magnetic field we are going to use another formula we are going to use for this uh, so they are going to use here and uh, carrier concentration n is a carrier concentration so if you are finding this rh we are using this rh here and the charge of the electron you know the charge of the electron 1.16 to 10 to the power of minus 90 here it is there now we are finding this n value mobility mu okay conductivity they will give you conductivity value here okay for the germanium sample what we are using germanium that germanium sample semiconductor material we are using so conductivity rh you are getting from here okay rh from here that value is substitute here okay very simple process simple mathematical calculation we are going to use and uh, unit is very important so in the manual unit is written here i'll going to upload this manual also so downside link we'll going to observe you'll going to observe here 
this total manual okay clear now can i go for the experiment and uh, before going for the experiment so what is the hall effect we will discuss here in small words okay now so i'll discuss now i'll go for the some uh, diagram and i'll explain what is the hall effect here right here now the first diagram will show the definition i am saying that okay so when a conductor or semiconductor okay with the current flowing now i have taken here conductor or semiconductor with current flowing okay now current is flowing here from here to here its current is flowing okay in one direction in one direction it will going to move is introduced perpendicular to magnetic field now we are applying the magnetic field here so perpendicular to the current flow this is the current flow straight you have okay now we are applying perpendicular magnetic field we are applying that okay the a voltage voltage could be measured at right angles to the current path okay now voltage we are measuring here okay right angles to the both here magnetic field and current direction now what is happening here when you are applying the magnetic field lorentz force okay this lorentz force will going to act on this okay current flow now what is happen when lorentz force will going to act it deviates the negative charge on one side okay so means it's so drift it's a drift the drift the electrons to one side okay drift the drift means this electrons move from here to here mean what is the remaining you have the positive charges we have on one side you have the electrons and other side you have the positive charges now what is happen negative charges and the positive charges there are potential difference we observe that potential different we are going to measured by so some uh, hall voltage meter or here multimeter multimeter is there but in our setup hall voltage meter we are going to measure that okay now once again i'll repeat what is the definition of this uh, hall effect all voltage okay now can i see that when a conductor or semiconductor conductor or semiconductor with current flowing in one direction is introduced perpendicular to a magnetic field a voltage could be measured okay right angles to the current path so this is your hall effect uh, hall voltage definition we have to say okay now so i'll go for the experimental method so what you have so i will show you the table and uh, i have shown you the how the students are recorded and i will start here the experiment okay clear so can i go for the table so now i'll show you table here so table is contained here first serial number then uh, we'll go for current passing through the electromagnets okay i have shown you electromagnets we are applying the current this is our choice how much you are applying the student he is taken 0.2 0.4 0.6 0.8 one means 0.2 0.2 difference he is taken now much how much gas is produced means corresponding gas in magnetic field in uh, gas okay you want to convert in tesla tesla not a problem means uh, we are taking how much uh, hall voltage according to magnetic field we are going to measure hall voltage first you close this table and measure this two means how much current we are applying how much uh, gas we are going to produce here produced here by using the probe okay so hall probe we are going to measure can i show that is how you are going to measure so this is your uh, constant power supply we are going to apply so he, we are taking now 0.2 okay by increasing this knob 0.2 controller we have okay by using this we are going to increase 0.2 okay so where you are going to observe this magnetic field in gas now this is the electromagnets here in between you have the magnetic field you are going to observe by using this probe okay now i am placing here the probe here so in between the probe you are i am placing here now i placed here the probe at uh, at a middle of your electromagnet see that how i have placed at middle it will not going to touch here one surface to other surface okay exactly middle i have placed okay clear now we will observe here so to adjust a zero zero adjustment okay now it is showing the uh, before you are going to on this okay so you are you are going to place out here without any probe now i am going to i haven't placed any probe now i am going to adjust for zero 
okay adjustments now slowly i'll going to adjust for the zero okay now it is minus yeah it is slowly will going to adjust for the zero very fast it is increasing yeah it's so nearly zero slowly will change just you are touching yeah it's it's nearly zero okay now so at this situation now i have to place out first what is the value i have to place out 0.02 see i'll show you that so student written here 0.2 i have to place out okay first one is first one is 0.2 now by using this here in the current meter current power supply here see that constant power supply controller will going to adjust for 0.2 okay slowly i am going to increasing yeah slowly increase rapidly it is increasing i will adjust for 0.2 yeah it is a 0.2 okay now i have to place out here the probe probe i have to place out here the probe in between these two now here only producing the magnetic field now i am placing here the probe slowly i am placing here the probe okay it will not going to touch the any one surface now i have placed here the probe okay. now you observe the so what is the distal gas gas you will going to observe here now i got here what is that 218 okay 218 is the value okay now once again i am recording this uh, values at a point to have place so how much you got 218 now i am writing here 218 okay student he got a uh, 324 i got 218 okay so depend uh, how i will going to increase here the value of 0.4 every 0.2 0.2 i am increasing 0.4 i will increase slowly okay now slowly i am going to increase 0.4 yeah it's 39 so i will just for yeah it's not a problem 0.4 so how much i uh, we got in gas meter yes in gas meter we got here 329 okay i have here 0.4 0.4329 clear next i will go for 0.6 how much we will get okay now i'll going to increase slowly 0.6 okay slowly i'm going to increasing okay not a problem so now 0.6 what is the gas we will get here in this meter i will go for and i will check out So four seventy four, correct or not? In digital gas, we got four seventy four. Yeah, this is I'm writing here four seventy four. I'm writing. Next, I will go for point eight. Point eight, I will show you that how much uh, I'm going to increase the point eight. Slowly, I'm going to use my hand, and I'm increasing point eight. Yeah, it's, it's nearly point eight. Yeah, point eight. Now, for gas meter, how much you are getting the value? Okay, I'll move here. Now, in the gas meter, we got here six twenty six. Now, I'm writing here point eight six twenty six. Now, I'm writing six twenty six. Can I go for one point zero? Okay, slowly, I'm going to increase one point zero. slowly increasing i am increasing slowly this is 1.0 then uh, we will check in gas meter how much the value you have yeah in the gas meter so how much 770 okay and now i will write it here 770 so 770 okay now you got the values like this Okay, similar like uh, how the students they got like this, so 
while I'm going to increasing the current what you are getting gas values also increasing now these gas values versus now hall voltage we are going to find out okay so there is a now so how much gas is according to similarly once again I'll put it here zero okay I'll move to zero next what you have to take out I will take out this probe from here I will take out the probe outside now I am taking outside here the probe now in place of this so I am placing the I am placing this material okay this semiconducting material right how I am going to arrange now you take out from this stand this probe I am taking out and close it this probe so I will keep it here and uh, there is no use of now at the gas meter. Now I'll switch off the gas meter now. Okay, I'll switch off. Then uh, I will take out the sample. I'll put it in holder. Right? So slowly I'll keep it here and I put it in holder. Alright? So it should be this sample should be perpendicular to the your magnetic field. Okay. And slowly I'm placing inside here in the magnetic field. Okay, now I have placed or see that how I have placed perpendicular now it is already connected to this hall voltage hall setup okay this is where we are going to main measuring the voltage okay it is connected here this by using these wires disconnected here means so this is the four wires you have two wires for your current supply and two wires for your measuring the hall voltage okay so now here the current is passing from here and uh, you are getting voltage showing here okay like clear now can i switch on this thing okay when i switch on it is showing in millivolt you are measuring in millivolt i'm going to increase the current and uh, i'm going to measure once again we'll come back to here the current okay how much i have to increase 0.2 slowly i'm going to increase 0.2 yes yes 0.2 yeah, it's a point two. So point two current nearly. So now current is passing here point two, and uh, here it is producing the hall voltage. That hall voltage we are going to measure here in this. What is the hall voltage you are getting? Positive, negative. How you why you are getting? You have to replace the terminals. You are getting positive here. Okay. Now here we have one point uh, three. You are getting. Okay, one point three. You are getting in hall voltage. Right. I'll write. Yeah, I am writing here at uh, point 0.2 means at 218 of gas. Okay, how much? So 1.3 I am writing here, clear? So 1.3 I am writing for uh, so point 0.2, 218 gas and voltage is producing is 1.3 millivolts. So here it is written millivolts, not a problem. If it is not written, you multiply with, if you are writing voltage here, you multiply with 10 to the power of minus 3. Why? Because milli value is 10 to the power of minus 3. Okay, clear? Now I will change once again, go for the point 0.4. Okay, I think it's... Now I will go for once again, this point 0.2. Uh, how much you are getting the... For point 0.2, how much you are getting the gas? So hull voltage, how much you are getting? I will check out means the point 0.2 means how much gas 218 we are measured here 218 how much so this is your uh, 0.5 voltage hall voltage okay voltage here only millivolts you are getting okay millivolts clearly i'm showing here millivolts you are getting all right 0 0.5 0 0.5 millivolts right clear i have written here point 0.2 how much for gas 218 gas how much voltage we got 0.5 Okay, now I'll go for uh, once again point 0.4. Point 0.4 I'm changing here. Slowly I have to change. Point 0.4. Yeah. So this is your uh, point 0.4. Yeah, this is your point 0.4. For point 0.4, how much uh, you are getting here? Hall voltage. Here hall volt. Here hall voltage you are getting. How much? 0.9 you are getting. Okay, 0.9 you are getting. See, check out 0.9. Now I am writing for 0.4, 0.9 changes you are getting. Okay, 
point nine I have written here. Next I will increase for point six. Point uh, six. Right, I'm going to increase for point six. Right, I'll check out how much uh, hall voltage in the hall meter. This value is uh, one point uh, zero. Okay, one point zero. I will go for that. Next, uh, I will go for point eight. I'm increasing point eight. I will check out uh, how much. Slowly, slowly, I will going to increase point eight. I'll check out how much. Its value is a 2.1. Okay, 2.1. I'll write it. Its value is a 2.1. Right. Now I will go for 1.0. I'll increase for 1.0. One 1.0. I will going to increase. I will check out. Its value is 3.1. Okay. 3.1 value you will get here up to 1.0. See how we will going it going to increase. Okay, here the student uh, how they are getting 0 0.5, 2.2, 8.5, 5.4, and 7.2. So for us we are getting 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 1.0, and uh, 2.1, 3. Point, uh, this in this gap we are getting less increment we have, but even though the values are will going to increase like this okay so by using these values i'll put it in formula how the students are completed this work see so rh formula i'll going to go for the rh and i'll complete the calculation part okay now i'll go for the in this formula we required hall voltage we are calculated now at 0 0.2 0 0.4 individually you want to take out take out at 0 0.2 0 0.5 you got 0 0.5 milli means so VH value is our VH value is 0 0.5 into VH value is 0 0.5 into 10 power milli means 10 power of minus 3. Okay. Next we need thickness of sample. He will give you the thickness of the sample. Now in this I'll check out uh, what is the thickness of the sample. I'll check out here thickness of the sample T is a uh, 0.5 5 into 10 power of minus 4 means it is there in millimeter. So he is converted in uh, meters. Okay. So see here. So I converted 5 into 10. Now thickness of the sample T equals to 5 into okay, 10 power minus 4 meters. All I am writing in meters. Okay. Now I value, current value. Current value, how much you are taken? Yeah, this is the current value. Okay, this is the current passing from the sample. Specimen means your semiconductor material 2.02. How is taken 2.02? We will come to the setup and we will check out where it is there. Okay, so this is the knob where I have to use here. So to measure the hall voltage, downside you have milliameters. Okay, it is already set. So we will check out, I will change the knob. Then I will get here. Okay, I will changing like this. Right, clearly I will changing. Yeah. It is shifted from millivolt to amp. Okay, how much is there? So to 1.99 means 1.2.0 nearly will take out. Okay. Now I'll change this like this. It shifted to millivolt means hall voltage we are measuring. Means it is a constant value. I haven't uh, by using this current adjustment uh, we already set here 2.00 uh, current. Okay. That I am only I am writing here. Okay. Clear. That only I am writing. Now I am writing here, what is the writing, current value, I value is, I value I am writing, so 2.00, okay, correct or not, so I will concentrate on that, I value is 2.00, 1.99 you will get, you will take out not a problem, 2.00, in this formula what you have, magnetic field, when 2.0 current I applied, what is the magnetic field we got, 218, at a, uh, 0.2 okay 0.2 okay 0.2 218 you got 28 gas means uh, we have taken in gas only b equals to 218 now i'll put in the formula i'll calculate it okay now rh equals to i'll do it here the calculation for you so rh equals to one calculation remaining you will do it okay so 0.5 into 10 power minus 3 and the thickness of the sample is see that thickness of the sample t is there 
या थिकनेस ऑफ द सैम्पल इज यू है फाइव इन टू टेन पावर माइनस फोर या आई इन टू बी आई मीन्स वॉट इज द वैल्यू टू यू हैव टेकन मीन्स बी वैल्यू इज टू वन एट ओके आई विल कैलकुलेट हियर इन द कैलकुलेटर यू विल पुट इन कैलकुलेटर सो आई विल पुट इन द कैलकुलेटर ऑल द वैल्यूज वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग आर एच वैल्यू सी दैट आई हैव चेंज हियर द करंट करंट इज इन मिली एम्स दैट्स वाई आई हैव टेकन हियर ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ माइनस थ्री ओके सो टू एटीन इज इन द गास आई हैव चेंज इन टेस्ला सो ऑल वी हैव टेक आउट इन वन यूनिट सो एस आई यूनिट ओनली आई हैव चेंजिंग क्लियरली सो आई एम सब्सिटिंग दिस वैल्यूज इन द फार्मूला सी दैट आर एच वैल्यू आई सब्सिटेड हियर इन द फार्मूला आर एच वी एच वैल्यू वी एच वैल्यू आर एच इक्व टू वी एच वैल्यू इन टू थिकनेस ऑफ द सैम्पल इज फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ फोर माइनस फोर मीटर्स ओके फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ माइनस फोर मीटर्स नेक्स्ट हियर वी हैव दी टी वैल्यू यू हैव ओके टी थिकनेस ऑफ द सैम्पल ओके सॉरी हियर करंट यू हैव थिकनेस अबव यू हैव करंट यू हैव हियर करंट इन मिली मिली एम्स वॉट यू सब्सिटिंग दैट आई हैव टेकन हियर इन मिली टू इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ माइनस थ्री and that i have written here 2 into 20 power of minus 3 and it is in gauss i have converted into tesla how you are going to convert tesla you know one tesla equals to 20 power of 5 gauss okay now you have to change this gauss to tesla divided by 20 power of 5 then you will get here 0.0218 i have written here 0.0 right so you put in the calculator so now you will get here 97.65 and uh, into 20 power of minus 2 why because 20 power of minus 3 10 power of minus 3 will going to cancel out remaining you have 24 of minus 4 now you put it here 0.5 into 5 divided by 2 into 0.0128 so i'll get here 97.65 into 24 of minus 4 is remaining then i will take out here the point here this side so you will get here 24 of minus 3 okay so now uh, i have uh, i will get here here in this uh, units i have concentrated on that so it is a uh, not centimeter cube meter cube i got meter cube by coulombs we got here i have written here meter cube per coulomb i have tried okay so here uh, i will go for um, um, carrier concentration formula just you have to multiply uh, rh value what you got rh value here this value multiply with charge of the electron can i do it here so one calculation i will do it remaining you have to do it okay so small n equals to small n equals to conductivity what is the formula you have 1 by 1 by so rh value is uh, just now we calculated 9.76 into 10 power of minus 3 uh, into 1.6 into 1.69 into 10 power of minus 19 shall we do it this thing okay 10 to the power of minus 3 minus uh, 9 how much you are getting 10 to the power of minus 12 okay 9.76 into 1.69 into 10 to the power of minus 12 this is a uh, 1 by correct or not 1 by you will get right here i am writing here so calculate i will put in the calculator so what you are getting here so i'll check out here okay now i am placing here 9.76 okay so 9.76 uh, 9.76 into And what is the value here? One point six nine. One point six nine. So how much you are getting? So this is the value what you are getting here. E sixteen point sixteen point four nine. Okay, into ten to the power of minus three. Ten to the power of, sorry, ten to the power of minus twelve. This is one by. Okay. So now uh, add it here. So answer into Into so what you have shift ten power right ten power minus twelve we have no minus twelve so I am writing here minus twelve then we got like this one divided by answer what you are getting here yeah yeah six point zero two into ten power of uh, uh, one minute yeah I am writing here n value n value what is uh, formula you have written so here we ha have done mistake here i have to place out here 19 not 9 correct or not so 19 19 plus uh, 3 we are getting 20 22 you will get 
correct or not? 22 you will get 22 now you take out in the calculator so how much you are getting calculator so one minute yeah I will take out this thing so 1 divided by 1 divided by so in bracket I will put it okay then easy for you that so 16.49 into 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 10 power 10 power minus 22 minus 22 okay then what you are getting that yes that what you got value is 6.0642 into 10 power 20 this is in your uh, what you have the unit uh, unit you have here centimeter cube but uh, we got in meter cube okay that is the difference we have uh, the student he got uh, the values see that a student how he got values but uh, he, ha he has done some mistakes uh, to convert the centimeter meter okay I'll show you that values student how he got uh, values yes see that so he hasn't converted here some 24 of minus 3 gas uh, he created gas then finally he got a value in 10 power of minus 5 that is the range is uh, you will go for minus 3 to minus 5 so this is the value what you are getting into 10 power of minus 3 to minus 5 is the range okay 10 power of minus 3 to minus 7 you will get range okay so here you will get uh, 20 to 24 you will get 10 power some 10 to 24 you will get okay this is the range is into some 6.8 something into 10 power of 20 to 24 you will get range okay depend upon the material of what you are using that okay so he got 22 now I got here the value is 20 you got okay 10 power 20 you got okay 10 power 20 I got okay but a unit is different no so that's why concentrate on that he is taking only centimeter per centimeter cube but I have taken in meter cube okay chalo now can i go for here uh, third one calculation so i'll complete this is the second one okay this is your first one calculation i will go for third calculation this is the third calculation i'm doing so mobility mu equals to conductivity into conductivity into what is the rh value so mu into rh so sig sigma into rh sorry sigma into rh mobility mu equals to so here the conductivity value is given but uh, in a different unit it is given so if you want to convert per ohm per meter this is the 110 per uh, ohm I think uh, 110 no it's 11 per ohm per meter okay when you are converting this so you will get here so 11 I will take out into what is the RH value I got mm, 9.76 above this value only 9.65 into 10 to power of minus 3. Can I do it calculation? So how much you are getting here? So I will get here 11 into so 9.765 okay into you can do it at 10 power shift 10 power minus 3 minus 3. So what you are getting the answer? It's okay 0 0.7 I think uh, if you are taking here, I think conversion we have problem. So can I take it here 110? Yeah. No, 11. Okay, now I'll do it for this. Uh, how much you got? Okay, I forget one second. 111 into so 9.765 765 into shift 10 power of minus 3. What you are cutting also? Yeah. So this I got value in 0 0.1074. Okay. So what is the unit here? We have uh, centimeter square. We have unit. Okay. Centimeter square unit here. But I have taken meter cube. So that is a meter cube per word per second. Per word per second. That's why you are getting the value like this. So okay. Mu value, n value, and RH value will get like this. This is the way I got here Hull coefficient in uh, 9.76 into 10 to the power of minus 3 values but a uh, unit is different okay unit is in a meter cube okay I have taken here the unit is meter cube but here they are taken centimeter cube so I have got here the uh, n value concentration value carrier concentration value 
so in 24 of 20 but i have taken in meter cube but they are taking centimeter cube sometimes you will get here 22 so centimeter square you will take out okay now i have taken 0.1 into 0 0.0 meter cube okay per uh, so per v per second okay i have taken but they have taken centimeter cube you have taken they have taken so you will get here uh, one more zero we will get here 0, 0.0 something you will get but but my answers are correct okay see that the similar range you will get here so student also he got some values but uh, this is the 24 of minus 5 is correct 24 of 22 is correct but it is a very small value he got but he has to correct this uh, conductivity constant value then he will also get here the values okay and one more thing i have to tell you in that last of this experiment so what is that uh, this current what you are using that uh, this is producing for a magnetic field okay we are not using the calculations okay so this current this is a constant current we are sending so this is uh, this, this is for uh, what you are sending in the sample okay sample constantly we are sending the sample okay so now you will see here another instrument in another college uh, they are changing uh, they are changing this ca ca constant current means what i have taken this constant current they are changing and they are putting the magnetic field okay you will see here the uh, he is playing don't change uh, they are written here so the constant magnetic field they are placed here and they are changing the this current okay then he, he, he got the same uh, nearby values he got that okay there are the two processes we have if you want to go to change this magnetic field otherwise you are going to change here the current any one you have to change here okay now you have to take out the graph Mag magnetic field versus magnetic field versus hall voltage now you will get like this okay clear so this is the experiment about the hall